Hello? Now, what is a hero? Who is a hero? But before I tell what I think about heroes, let's think about what most people think about heroes. Maybe Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, or historical heroes like Martin Luther King, Abraham Lincoln. But there are more heroes than these people. There are many, many more. And to know those heroes, we need to widen our concept. I'm not saying realistic heroes or fictional heroes. I'm not saying fake heroes like Superman, but actual heroes. There's actual heroes everywhere. And I'm saying that anybody can be a hero, regarding that they had to put their time, their effort, and they need to help someone else. So let me explain with a few examples. Think that I don't have my tie, and I'm going to a school that has really strict laws for uniform. And I get to school, and I see that I have no tie. I'm like, oh my god, I don't have a tie. That principal is going to destroy me. And, <laughs> and I'm just going to be mocked at, and just going to listen to that lecture from that principal for like half a day. And it's going to be a nightmare. And I'm just whining about how bad of a day it can be. But out of nowhere, my friend Bob shows up. And he hands me a tie. He's like, here, you can have this for today, and you can give it to me tomorrow. And then I think to myself, oh, it's not a nightmare anymore. That principal doesn't know I didn't have a tie. And I don't need to listen to the lecture about school's important. Listen to school policies. It's more important. I don't need to listen to that. The principal is principle is okay. I have my tie. <laughs> and like this, that friend was a hero to me. He shaved, she saved me from sheer embarrassment. I don't need to listen to that lecture. And it's all good. So it's not a bad day anymore. But he was so non-heroic. He became a hero, but he's so non-heroic. Like, he's a friend. Come on, he's not a hero. He's so ordinary, normal. This is the person I meet and talk to every day. But he became a hero. That's something that doesn't happen that much. So some people out there may think like, ah, he's a friend. He's not a hero. Go, get up. <laughs> so let me give you another example. I'm in class. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do after I reach home. And the teacher says, remember how I said yesterday, we're going to have a quiz in 10 minutes. I have a shock. Whoa, a quiz. I didn't know about that. I kind of remember something about a quiz, but I think it was next week, so I didn't study. And, the, and I'm in a state of panic, so I take my textbook and notebook and start flipping through the pages as fast as I can, trying to know how much of information I can in just 10 minutes. And I'm talking to myself, saying that I'm going to fail. What is this stuff? I don't know this. 10 minutes? No, never. And I'm in a complete state of panic. I don't know what to do. I'm like a mess. And the teacher comes over and starts explaining the previous lesson in a very easy and comprehensible way. And I think like, whoa, it's not that tough. Ah, I knew that. Come on. And I understand the topic better. But in the quiz, which I would normally fail because I didn't study. Now I got an 85. 85 for 10 minutes. Come on, that's pretty good. <laughs> but something most people overlook in this scenario is that that teacher became a hero to me. He came over to me and took his time, took his effort, and tried to explain the previous lesson in an easy way. And I took that ad uh, thing that he gave me and I learned from it so that I became better at the topic he taught me. But he could have, as well as being the, the teacher that was strict, a strict teacher that stood behind the desk and just laughed at students when they were in a state of panic and just given them a failing grade happily. So the teacher was a hero to me, yet he's again so non-heroic, so ordinary. Come on, he's a teacher. <laughs> and in both of these scenarios, the teacher, the student, Bob, both of them helped me from sheer embarrassment and failure, which I consider to be 
really, really bad because I don't want to be embarrassed or I don't want to fail. And they helped me get out of that. So they were heroes. But as I said earlier, anybody can be a hero. There's something deeper to it. Anybody can be a hero, so I can be a hero. And that means all of you can be heroes too. And probably all of you have become heroes sometime in your life without even realizing it. Yeah, or multiple times in your life. Let me give a few examples. Maybe you teach a student math. Maybe you teach some other person athletics. And they become better because of you. So for them, you're like a hero. But you didn't think of yourself like a hero. Maybe that kid be got better at math. Maybe the other person knows how to shoot better and kick better in soccer. And like that, you were heroes without even realizing. Or maybe you're tutoring a kid younger than you. And you're thinking, oh, this stuff is so easy. Come on, man, you should know this. And the kid probably doesn't. And he is learning from you. And you just want to get over with it. Come on, just give me my money. I want to get out of here. <laughs> and for the kid, he, you're a hero because you know stuff that he doesn't. You're trying to help him get out of his bad condition. Maybe you're helping him in things that he can get better. And you never know. In the upcoming test or quiz, he gets a higher grade just because of you. And in that way, you were a hero without even noticing. And like this, people become heroes without noticing. So there's a natural disaster. There's many, many victims that are affected by it. And organizations come over. People from organizations come over and try to help these people. And I bet you, if you go and ask any victim that was saved from a, a person from an organization, they will say that the person who saved them was a hero. But the person who actually saved them doesn't think that he was a hero. He's just doing his duty. So like this, people become heroes without even knowing they have been. But the key thing of becoming in heroes is you need opportunities. You need those chances. For becoming heroes, you need to make the most out of that chance and opportunity and help others. This TED Talk was that kind of opportunity to me so that I could help people. Maybe you will take the opportunity of tutoring the person, and you'll tutor him. Maybe you'll be the teacher that helps the student. Or maybe you can be the student that gives the spare time. But something I know for sure is that all of us here are capable of becoming really, really great heroes, for sure. Because there's a hero within all of us, and we, it's up to us whether or not we need to choose to be those great heroes. If we choose to be those great heroes, we need to go and help people out there who need help. Because there's still many, many people out there who need our help. They need people who, who step out of the ordinary and try to help them. And so helping others is the best way to help oneself. So let us light the earth on the fire that lies within our hearts, the fire that wants to help people, the fire that wants to get people out of these bad conditions the fire that wants to be the greatest heroes we can. And so let us light this earth on that very fire, the very fire that will make earth the most iconic place and symbol of peace, prosperity, and equality. Thank you.